In this video, I'll show you how to work with Jupyter Notebooks and VS Code, and how to install Python packages for data science in a virtual environment. I'm going to assume that you already have VS Code and Python installed on your machine, or are running in a GitHub code space. If not, make sure you watch our earlier video that explains how to do that. Let's start by navigating to the GitHub project we'll be using in this video series. You can see here that the project is split into many directories. If you've watched our introduction videos, you can find the associated text in the introduction directory. We'll be moving on to the section on regression for this video. You have two options to work with this repository. You can edit and run the code in a development environment in the cloud, or you can work on your own machine. To work in the cloud, you'll click on Code, Code Spaces, and then Create Code Space on Main which starts up VS Code within a remote container. To work locally, you'll clone the project to, to your own machine, which is what I'll be showing you here. Once I've executed this command, I have all the files of this project on my machine, and I can use VS Code to open them. Let's navigate to the section on regression tools and take a look at this empty Jupyter Notebook. So what exactly is a Jupyter Notebook? It's an interactive environment that allows you to experiment with Python code and see the results right away. Within a notebook, you can alternate between descriptive text, sections of code, and the results of running that code. For example, let's add a new cell with the following markdown. Great, and now let's add a new cell with this Python code. We can then run the cell containing the code by clicking on the arrow to its left, and the code runs as you might expect. Pretty straightforward. With our current setup, you can add to these cells any code that works with your base Python installation. However, in data science, we often install other packages that help us with common tasks. When installing packages on top of Python, it's good practice to use a virtual environment that encapsulates those packages along with their specific versions. There are many different technologies to manage virtual environments, and in this video, we'll be using the VMV module. Let's start by looking at the help for VMV. As you can see, we just need to give the command the name of the directory where all our packages will live. It's common practice to call this directory .vmv and to include it within the project. So that's what we'll do. Let's navigate to the .vmv directory and look at the lib subdirectory. This is where the packages we'll install will end up. You might want to add the .vmv directory to your .gitignore file so that you don't check in all of these files. Next, we'll activate the environment with this command and we're now ready to install our packages. We'll need five commonly used packages for our first machine learning pro project. Pandas, which is a data analysis and manipulation tool. Matplotlib, which helps us create data visualizations. NumPy, which is a great library for scientific computing. Scikit-learn, which enables us to do predictive data analysis and ipykernel, which is the Python execution backend for Jupyter Notebooks. We can install them all with the following command. We can verify that these packages were installed by executing piplist and looking for each of them. Or you can just browse the lib directory. We can now tell VS Code to use the virtual environment that we just created as the interpreter to run the code in our notebook. Let's verify that, for example, NumPy is installed by executing some NumPy code. We'll first import it, then we'll create a 3x4 matrix, and then we'll print the first row. Great, our setup is done. And that's all you need to start working with Jupyter Notebooks and virtual environments. In our next video, you'll learn how to make a simple machine learning prediction using linear regression. I'll see you there.